Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. In today's lesson, we'll go through SQL Accounting System tutorial, Cash Sales. I'll be using SQL Accounting System version 754. Let's go to Sales module, Cash Sales. If you want to create a new document in SQL, just click on the New button. Now, as I always highlight, in SQL Accounting System, you do not require to memorize the customer code, supplier code, or even item code. For instance, for customer, you can see that there is few column for you to search a customer. Now you can see that company name is in bold, meaning that your focus of searching is using company name. If one day when you try to type the customer name and it does not come out, this is because your focus of searching has moved to another column. And you can see that company name to now it is the focus of searching. To move your focus of searching from one column to another column is just by clicking the tab key on your keyboard. The tab key is T A B. So just click one time, it moved to another column. One time, move to code, and one more time go to company name. Now, so if you type a word, so you can see that the system actually searched the whole sentence. This is because at the bottom, this A is at the middle. If you want to search from the left hand side, click this A one time and you can see the A is from the left hand side. So if I try to search syntax S, so you can see that it searched from the left. So let's select syntax and select the item. The same theory apply, meaning that I'm using description to do the searching. Or one time A is in the middle, meaning that when I type M, any wording that comes with the M will come out. So I select max is maybe key in the quantity. Unit price will come out automatically, but you still can change. You can put in the discount or tax inclusive if you want to take it. Or you want to add another item, click the plus sign, and then select DG. I put in quantity as 3, I save this as sales. Put in the pay amount and the method your customer pay you, maybe in cash or bank. Now, please remember, if your customer pay you with cash and later on when you want to bank in, at the point of cash sales, you do not select bank. You must select cash in hand. Later, when after three days, you accumulate the cash in hand, then only you go to bank to bank in the money. Then only you do another payment voucher. If you select the payment method over here is bank, meaning that you debit the bank and credit the sales at the point of cash sales, then you will have problems when you do bank reconciliation because the amount is not tally with the amount that you bank in, in then the amount that show in bank statement will be not tally uh, or you will have difficulties during bank reconciliations. So I select the cash, okay? And the difference between cash sales and invoice basically is very simple. You create an invoice, later on you need to do a customer payment to knock off with the invoice. But for cash sales, after you save the cash sales, the system will actually automatically create the customer payment for you, which already knock off with this cash sales. And you can see the number of your customer payment will be the same as your cash sales number. Now, many people or many users facing difficulties when they try to edit a cash sales. Example, I click on edit or and I try to change the price. So when I click save, okay. You will have this message, total amount is less than payment amount. So if you try to delete the cash sales, you face the same things that you are not able to delete the cash sales because the customer payment have been created and linked to this cash sales. So what you need to do, search the cash sales that you want to edit, click on edit, then go to the bottom part payment into, remove this payment into. Okay, remove it, 
and make sure the bottom part is totally empty. Then you click save and at the pay amount, put zero. Click OK. Then you are able to uh, edit this Casio's. Now, click edit again, change the price to 100, save, OK. Then you are able to edit and save the amount that you want. That means you already edit the Casio's. If you want to delete Casio's, the same things or same theory, same step apply. First step, edit empty payment into make sure it's blank, save, put zero at pay amount, click OK, then only you click edit or delete the record. Now, this is the step how you going to create a cash sales, edit a cash sales, and delete a cash sales. If you have any inquiries on other um, transactions in SQL, what you can do is just go to my website, it's www.syntech.com.my, click on YouTube, and click on Tutorial Videos for SQL Accounting System. And you can see, I already prepared for you all the tutorial video for all the transactions in step-by-step -step manner. Okay, so you can go through and, and have a look on all my tutorial videos. So another thing is, please go to my Facebook. It's facebook.com slash syntax technologies. And please help to like and follow my Facebook. And you will have all the latest information regarding SQL, GST, EIS, or anything that I think that is uh, relevant and important. I'll share it. Um, within my Facebook and you can see there is a lot of Q&A happening in my Facebook too. Now, that's all for today. Wish you a good day and wish you wish I will have more tutorial video coming up in the near future. Thank you. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies.